Good morning, everyone, and thank you for starting your day out with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. I'm going to start the show off today by talking with one of Key West's superstars. He made his theater debut in 1972. You have seen him in My Fair Lady, The Best Man, Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, and that's just naming a few. Right now, he's starring in Seminar, which is being presented by the Key West Fringe. This is a play that you don't want to miss, and as you can imagine, his role in this play is outstanding. Mike, thank you for being here with me thank today. Thank you for having me. <laughs> now, Mike, do you remember what it was that you debuted in 1972? Yes, I do. <laughs> what <laughs> was it? Painful memory that it is. <laughs> it was a show called Norman, Is That You? Mm -hmm. And uh, it was popular for a while and done here and there, but uh, you know it was it was fluff. You know there wasn't much to that. Uh, but then shortly after that, I did another one called "She Loves Me," which was a little bit more upscale than that one particular show. But when I did those shows in 1972, it was the Navy Wives ran the theater. And so uh, that was a real experience to work with uh, military wives, and there was a hierarchy of, of things that went on with them. But they were the ones that got me into the Goodman School of Drama in Chicago, these gals. Okay. They said, you really should go to acting school. They were telling me something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. But yeah, they said, you really should. So I took that seriously, and mm -hmm. I auditioned for a school in Chicago and was accepted. And so really, those two particular shows, when I started out here, are what sort of launched me into learning really the complexities of acting. I like that, Mike. I didn't know that yeah. about you. So you came here in 72, went to Chicago. Uh-huh, from here. Okay, but then returned to Key Returned West. here in about 1979 or 1980. Okay. Yeah, so I kicked around the Midwest for a while mm -hmm. uh, before I returned here. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, I like that about you. You have Indiana roots. I do, <laughs> and you too. <laughs> Me too, yeah, so yeah. Ball State graduate. And, and I an Indiana State University graduate. Okay. And then I did a little stint at Purdue, too. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, we don't really like the, bo <laughs> the Boilermakers. The Boilermakers, right. <laughs> That's right. Mm -hmm. Now, Mike, let's talk about, you have starred in so many different plays here, but right now, as I mentioned, you're starring in Seminar. Mm -hmm. How is it? It's really a great experience, a great experience. First of all, Seminar is a very savvy, very smart show. And uh, the character that I play comes along, this kind of a male role comes along once in a lifetime. I've been lucky living in Key West, getting to play some of these. There was Amadeus, in which I had a great role, Salieri, and then there was the Doctor and Equus and a few others. But this is right up there with the very best male roles that come along. And happily, I'm in it with four kids that are just great, too. So, the, you know, they're in the ball game, mm -hmm. and it's a great show. It is a really, I'm so very proud of it. So this was a role that you just couldn't turn down when you were given the opportunity yeah, for it. Yeah, absolutely. I campaigned for that role. You know, I said, oh, you got to do this, you got to do this, and then the fringe picked it up. Okay. Now, how many plays would you say that you do a year here A year? In well, it used to be more than just one, but now I try to keep it down to just one because I also, of course, work, mm -hmm. you know, so I have my job, and then I have this thing that I do that I love. So I have to keep it down so that I have, you know, enough energy to spend on all of my endeavors. Mm -hmm. But this year, actually, and then after this ends, then I have a cabaret show at Tennessee Williams on March 23rd and 24th with two other guys called the Brotherhood of Man. So I do have a lot on my plate for this season. What's your passion? Singing? Dancing, acting. I would say I have the drama bug. <laughs> I would say, yeah. Uh, I like all of that, and that's very challenging, and it's a hell of a lot of work. Mm -hmm. But I like acting. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's what my passion is. Great. Well, I hope to see you in many more performances, even more than one a year. I know you're busy, though. So <laughs> well, maybe someday <laughs> I'll retire and I'll have that to do. I wouldn't mm -hmm. mind directing either now. Yeah. I'm starting to think about directing. I was very inspired by my director that I had this time. Uh, Dennis Zadchek from uh, the Victory Gardens in Chicago. Mm -hmm. And he was a wonderful director, and I thought, I want to do that too. Mm -hmm. Maybe you know? with the Key West Fringe then. I you think, can yeah, I, you know, anybody that, uh, that picks me up and says, Would you like to do that? I'll look whatever the material is and, mm -hmm. and see, because I, it was some inspiring to work with this particular director. Now, you've also had a lot of association with the Waterfront Playhouse. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything coming up with the Waterfront? No, um, I don't. But, you know, you never know what mm -hmm. the coming seasons may, may bring, you know, what good pieces of material they have. But I love working at the waterfront. Mm 
<laughs> and a, really a shout out to Danny Weathers, who is the artistic director there. He just has made that theater into a great professional looking theater. Mm -hmm. And the fair there, if you go see it, you're not going to be disappointed. No, you definitely won't be disappointed. Yeah. They have a busy and a great season. But right now, see Seminar. This is a show that you don't want to miss. It's sh starring my guest this morning, and everyone says you are just outstanding. In well, it, that's right? nice. And <laughs> before I get off of here, I better, the Fringe is really a lovely organization, too. Mm -hmm. And they're starting from scratch, and they're coming up, and there are kids that love the theater, and they're working with no theater or anything. So they're a great and passionate group as well. So I want to give them a shout out, too. Yeah, they're doing great. And it's taking place right now. So everybody, get your tickets for the Key West Fringe Performance of Seminar. Thank you so much for joining Thank me you, this Jenna. morning. I have much more to come this morning, so please don't go away. We're just getting started. <laughs>